So you have a Pioneer Fire TV and you have an issue with the uh, remote. Maybe uh, one button's working or maybe a few buttons are working or maybe there's like a delay when you try to move to the right, it takes like three, four, five, like 10 seconds. Or, or maybe it's like ghosting, like you move to the right and it'll move over um, like three times to the right. Or maybe it's ghosting where you're not even doing nothing and things are moving around on your TV. I'll give you guys two simple solutions to get you up and running. Now take note that this is only gonna work for like 50% of you guys, okay? So first thing is this. What I want you to do with the TV on I want you to pull the power plug just like this. Pull it out, wait 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, I want you to go ahead and plug it back in. And then from here, turn your TV back on. So um, if your remote is working, you can use your remote. If, you're, if your remote power button is not working, then simply look for a button, a power button on your uh, TV. Now this, my Pioneer Fire TV, I have one power button on the left side of the TV, and I have it right here, okay? Yours may not be here, it may be like up here, it could be like in somewhere like underneath on the middle here, it could be on the left side or the right side, it could be on the side of there as well. Just look for the, uh, the power button to turn it back on, okay? So I can just tap it once and the TV should turn on. Then once the TV is fully booted up, go ahead and test your remote out, see if you have any issues, okay? If you still have the same issues, then we're gonna go to the second part here. So the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the remote and we're gonna pull the batteries out, okay? So go ahead and turn it over. And on the bottom here, you see like an arrow, it's pointing that way. So I gotta go ahead and slide this cover over this way. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop the batteries out. Take out the batteries and while the, while the batteries are out, press and hold the power button for 15 seconds. So press and hold for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, go ahead and let go. Next thing is go ahead and spam every single button on here while the battery is out, okay? So, and typically what happens if one of the buttons is stuck or two buttons is stuck or jammed, it can cause all kinds of havoc on the remote, okay? It might have got stuck because maybe there's dirt or lint gotten one of the buttons or you spill coffee or even hand sweat or lotion as well, okay? So press everything kind of hard, even the navigation, every single button on here, okay? Just spam it like crazy. Get everything unstuck, give it a couple whacks, and then from here, go ahead and put the batteries back in. Make sure that they are in correctly. Don't put the back plate on yet. We wanna make sure it's working. So put it in like that, and then go ahead and test your remote and see if everything is working. If it's still not working, then from here, do the same thing, okay? Go ahead and pop the batteries out. And remember, while the, while the battery is out, press and hold this power button for 15 seconds. Just hold it for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, Go ahead and let go and spam every single button, okay? The navigation all over. Just spam it kind of hard. Get everything all like nice and like unstuck. Give it a couple whacks. Pop the batteries in and then see if your remote is working correctly. Now the thing is if it's still down, try the second step of pulling the battery out Try it like two or three more times and hopefully you guys are up and running. Like I said, this should only work for like 50% of you guys, but if it worked for you, uh, give me a thumbs up and comment that it works so others can see. And if it didn't work, just go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Like I said, we should see at least a 50-50, okay? Good luck, guys.